Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. I can't even believe I'm typing these words, but soon The Simpsons will begin airing its 33rd season. That is bonkers. And obviously over these 33 seasons, the show has introduced countless characters, many of which have been brought back time and time again. But one of my favorite guest characters only appeared twice and within the show's first three seasons, no less. Herb Powell, Homer's long lost half brother, played by Danny DeVito, was introduced in season two's Oh Brother Where Art Thou? And the following season, he was brought back in Brother Can You Spare Two Dimes? Both of which are excellent episodes. But I always wondered why they never bothered to bring Herb back after using him twice within the first 60 episodes of the entire show. Homer's relationship with his half-brother was interesting, complicated, and heartwarming, and it never felt like they had fully explored the story possibilities with the character. I decided to go back and watch these two classic episodes and explore Herb and Homer's relationship a little more thoroughly, so join me as we take a look into the loving but resentful connection between Herb and Homer. Herb Powell was a straight-up businessman. We saw him running two majorly successful companies in his episodes of The Simpsons, but remember, this was back in the early 90s. Business was different back then, and if he were starting a business today, there's one major thing Herb would need to get started a professional website, which is where today's sponsor Squarespace comes in. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build your online presence, run your business, or make a personal website. It is seriously so user-friendly. I threw a cool page together really quickly, it was easy to use, and there are so many different customization options. My website looks professional and it matches the aesthetic of my brand and YouTube channel, highlighting some of my favorite video essays I've worked on, as well as some of the recent productions I've worked on professionally. It even has links to my work and contact info. I seriously can't express how easy Squarespace is to use, so head over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to push the website public, use my link, squarespace.com slash johnny2cellos, to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Herb and Homer's relationship is an interesting one. In season two's Oh Brother Where Art Thou, Homer learns that he has an older half-brother who was given up for adoption about a year before Homer was born. So of course Homer tracks down Herb and tries to reconnect with the only sibling he has. Well, at least the only sibling that he had at that point. But I really like the way they built this up. Homer was so excited to find his brother. I'm your baby brother, Homer! And Herb reciprocated this excitement. I love the moment where they meet for the first time. You look, you look just like... Except, except you got, you got a little, little more. Less. And a little, little less. More. Now, unfortunately, due to the remainder of this episode, Homer and Herb's love for each other is short-lived. The entire episode revolves around Herb putting Homer in charge of an expensive new car at his automotive company. Herb believes that Homer is his ticket to understanding the typical American, and that Homer will know exactly what kind of car the general public would want. Of course, when the car is eventually unveiled, it's a absolute disaster, ruining Herb's company and completely eliminating his wealth and success. And because of this, Herb absolutely despises Homer. It is the most genuine of resentment. As far as I'm concerned, I have no brother. Now, for years I felt like I really understood this. Of course Herb was mad. Homer made profoundly dumb decisions and ruined his company. But watching through it this time, something really stood out to me. This incident was 100% on Herb. Herb literally had every opportunity to avoid this disaster. Over and over again, his top advisors tried to warn him that Homer was making dangerous decisions, but Herb was so caught up in the whirlwind of forging a meaningful bond with his new brother that he ignored all of them. You're gonna hang up, call me back, and say the exact opposite of everything you just said. Goodbye. Herb didn't even look at the car before he unveiled it for the entire world. That is a genuinely horrible business decision. In the end, Herb uses Homer as a scapegoat. Yes, Homer made all of the poor decisions specifically when designing this car, but Herb made the decisions that led to his company's failure. Homer should have never been put in that position in the first place, and he was placed there by Herb himself. This failure was on Herb, but when you take that into account, Herb's resentment towards Homer sort of morphs into something different, because it carries over into the follow-up episode in Season 3, Brother Can You Spare Two Dimes. Since the end of O Brother, Herb has basically been living on the streets, desperately hoping to come up with a way to earn his fortune back, all while still resenting Homer. So when he comes up with an idea, but needs the money to fund it, he very fortunately learns that Homer has won the first annual Montgomery Burns Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Field of Excellence, alongside $2,000. Now even though Herb goes to Homer seeking help, his resentment and conflict over the situation is clear. So many conflicting emotions. 
how to express them. Herb? <laughs> Now, for years, I saw this episode as Homer making good on his mistakes. Homer supporting Herb after failing him, and actually correcting his shortcomings from Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? But I see this episode really differently now. I think this is actually an episode about Herb coming to terms with himself and his own failure, and overcoming his misplaced resentment towards Homer. And it's an episode about Homer actually being the bigger man, and giving Herb another chance at his life and career, even though Herb was the one who made the mistakes. If you look at the events of O Brother, and acknowledge that Herb was the one who made the decisions that led to his company's downfall, and acknowledge that Homer is the scapegoat, you also have to acknowledge that Homer doesn't actually owe Herb anything. When Homer lent Herb the two dollars for his next business venture, he wasn't making up his past mistakes to Herb. He was actually just being a good, supportive brother. And I love the way that Herb's redemption plays out. His chemistry and love for the Simpson family, save for Homer, is so charming. Bart, Lisa, and his presentations to the family make for some of my favorite comedic deliveries in all of the Simpsons. It's drinking the water. Take it easy, Homer. But it's also just a lovely representation of how being supportive of your loved ones, in spite of previous drama or resentment, can be really rewarding and the right thing to do. Now obviously, I'm not saying this is a blanket statement, this isn't always true given any situation, but I love this story of Homer reconnecting with his brother through his own selflessness. Now I'm not entirely sure if this is what the writers intended, because the way the episode plays out is definitely more of a Homer redemption story, but I think that this interpretation is even more powerful, because Homer did the right thing. He gave up something that he really wanted, this high-tech massage chair, and instead, he reforged his bond with his brother, even though Herb was the one who should have been rethinking his own resentment towards Homer. I forgive you. You can call me brother, and I can do the same. Unfortunately, we never see Herb again in the entire series. We do hear his voice one time in season 24 in a small gag. Homer and Marge have a near-death experience and consider Herb as a potential guardian for the kids in case anything ever happens to them. Hi, you reached Herb Powell. I'm poor again. Dee. Now, this is obviously just played as a gag for longtime fans of the series, but I actually think that this development is really interesting. Herb apparently has lost his fortune in business once again, even without Homer's interference, and I think it just proves the point I'm making. Herb only had himself to blame for his failure. No scapegoat in this situation. But in spite of Herb's shortcomings when it comes to his ego and his success, I think the heart of these episodes is the connection that Herb and Homer forge and then reforge. The moments where the two of them bond and enjoy each other's company as brothers in season two are so joyous, and the catharsis when Herb forgives Homer in season three is palpable. And it's one of the reasons that I'm just genuinely surprised and kind of bummed that they never brought Danny DeVito back to play Herb again. It's been almost 30 years since we saw the character on screen, and the Simpsons have done so many different types of stories over the years, I really wish that they had decided to re-explore the chemistry and brotherly bond between Homer and Herb. I think there are so many more stories you could tell between them, not to mention getting Grandpa involved since we never actually saw him interact with his son. But regardless, I've always loved these brotherly stories for Homer, and watching them all these years later has given me a new appreciation for not only their bond, but for Homer as a character. Obviously, Homer has changed as a character plenty over the years, but back in these early days, his heart was so often in the right place, even if his head wasn't. And it's nice to feel like this was a situation where Homer did the most upstanding and supportive thing. The Simpsons is renewed through season 34 at this point, and honestly, it doesn't feel like they're close to wrapping it up, so who knows, maybe they'll manage to get one last Homer and Herb story in the can before the show does close up shop, but I'm not so sure it will happen. But a man can dream though, right? Folks, thanks for tuning in to another Simpsons video. I know these don't generally do as well as some of my other stuff, but I love The Simpsons, so let me know if you'd like more from me on this classic series. Do all the liking and subscribing business, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Johnny! Two challenges.